Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 3 of my Wolfsburg career mode. Now today I've got some league games to play. The first match is Hoffenheim and I've got my new players to try out basically in this game. I've started Arnold in centre mid. I've also got Backer in front of De Bruyne. He's starting his first game uh, since signing. Um, Nock starts in centre at centre back because Naldo's um, a little bit tired so I've rested him. I've also got Rodriguez and De Marcos as my full backs. That's the team, let's get on with the game and see how we get on. I've got Benton on the bench just in case we need him and a few other players as well. I'm really looking forward to this episode. It looks like um, in real life that De Bruyne will be leaving and going to Man City. Um, if not by the time this is out, I think it's going to be around 58 million. So very expensive. Uh, but at the moment we do have to buy in ourselves and if you think it would make the game more realistic if I sold him in January then let me know. Uh, he's obviously a big player to replace, he played very well in the previous game I think it was in the uh, last episode. So it would be a big loss but if you think it would make the um, career more realistic let me know if you think I should sell him. I think the same goes for, is it Perisic I think also might be leaving and I think that one could be to Inter Milan. So again if you feel it would make it more realistic by selling them both let me know. Uh, obviously, they are huge parts of the team, so it would be a massive loss, and I'd have to get a decent amount for them. Uh, but still, uh, if you think that that would be a good thing to do, let me know down below, and I'll reply as usual. Anyway, let's go on with the game. Backer will be starting this match. I'm really looking forward to using him. Never used him at all on career mode. It might surprise you to hear that, uh, but I've just never fancied going for him. But uh, his stats are really impressive, actually, so uh, it looks a very, very good signing for us. Here we go, Backer with his first chance, and he's knocked it past the centre-back, still running through. About to enter their box, and oh, the finesse wasn't good enough. I thought the keeper was coming out further there. That wasn't good enough for us there, it should have been a goal. We do have a corner, De Bruyne to take. Anybody getting on the end of this one? Oh, I think I was Shirley, he heads it in the back of the net. And we didn't score from the backer chance, but we have scored from the resulting corner. 1-0, brilliant header from Schurler. Keeper came off his line and really was left in no man's land and didn't really come for that one properly. He went for it and then backed out at the last minute. And we are winning 1-0, brilliant start to this game. Hoffenheim trying to respond here through Beck, the left back. I think he actually can play right back as well, but it does get intercepted brilliantly by Perisic. And now we've got ourselves a chance to counter-attack and run into the space left behind by Beck. Backer again on the ball, going to fake shot inside, let's see what he's like on his left, it was blocked last minute by the centre back I think, and uh, yeah that was another decent opportunity for us. Di Marcos looking to get involved to guys, finds Schürrle, out wide to Rodriguez, can he put one in for Backer, should really get on the end of that on Backer, it was a nice uh, ball in, and there's Beck on the uh, right hand side, I thought he was right back to be honest, more than left back, but uh, he's put in a ball and eventually it's found the back of the net. The pass went inside to uh, one of the attackers and then he put in a little chip and it was headed into the back of the goal. Not very good defending at all and they are back on level terms. One all now. Uh, a chip straight away as soon as he passed it. First time into the box. Uh, we've not defended that one well enough. The right back, I think it's DeMarcos there that should have... Oh no, it might be Perisic actually. I'm not 100% sure on the faces as of yet. I think it's Perisic judging by uh, this player over here. Yes, it was. He should have probably done a little bit better, covered the full back, uh, but it hasn't happened and we are now drawing one all. That's a shame, we have started really well here, that's their first real chance. Di Marcos with the ball in, and it's going to be a bit too far for us there. All oh, the through again here, Leno trying to save it, and he just about does enough. Not good enough at all. Um, but we are still level at the moment going into half time and that is it for the first half um, Good not great. I mean we we started very well and it looks like it could have easily have been two or three And then we just kind of stopped a little bit. And I don't really know what happened They started to play a lot better Hoffenheim and they got back into the game obviously with the, the equalizer that they got so we might have to make another change. I'm not really too sure exactly what to do. I might just bring on Naldo, um, but I don't really want to take Rudiger off. That's the only issue, even though he's booked. It might actually be Elia. I think we need someone with a bit more pace in there, and I'm not really too sure who I'd take off because I can't take Sherlock off. Perisic has been good. De Bruyne is... Well, he's, he's De Bruyne. I can't really take him off, and Back has been pretty good, so... I don't know how I can fit anybody else onto the team, if I'm totally honest at the moment. Uh, Gully Vogue, I think, is going to be my only change. And I'll take off Guys uh, for that one, because Guys hasn't really been in the game too much. So I'm going to go with that for now. Hopefully it makes some sort of difference defensively, uh, allowing us to go forward a little bit more. But who knows? Like, we'll just have to see how we get on. 
Rudiger finds Rodriguez, and that's 2 1. What a strike from Rodriguez. So much better this start. The first 10 minutes of the second half have been a lot better. We won ourselves a little free kick quite far out. I decided to just pass it around a little bit. It found Rudiger's feet, and he slotted a pass through to Rodriguez, who smashed it into the goal. And it's now 2 1. Very good stuff. Look at this little bit of build up play here. 1 2 with Rodriguez, and he smashes it past the keeper. Brilliant stuff. 2-1. Arnold looking for Backer. Can he find the right pass? Be nice to get Backer in on the goals, but at the moment he hasn't really had too many clear-cut opportunities other than, other than the one in the first half, obviously. But, yeah, I feel a little bit sorry for him. He's not had a great deal of uh, chances to try and score from at the moment. Go on, De Bruyne. Trying to find Backer. He has done. This could be a brilliant opportunity for Backer on his debut. Cuts inside. Backer, 3-1. Scores on his debut. That is brilliant. Good start to his career at Wolfsburg. That is what we needed. He's got himself a goal. And it is 3-1. Brilliant stuff. Backer's trying to be found for his second here. Schurler played him through. Was he onside? That's a shame. That one was close. It went in. And that would have been his second. But it must have been tight, this one. Oh, it really is. It's... How close can you get on that? I'm not too sure. Uh, but they've given it as offside anyway. Okay, we're going to make some changes now. There's only like four minutes left and they're on time. Uh, but we are going to bring on Elliot, take off Schurler, just rest him. Take off De Bruyne as well. Try and take off some of my um, players that have a huge impact on the game. And I think that's going to be it for now. I was tempted by Bentner, but for now we'll just leave him on the bench. Go on, Hunt. This is a brilliant chance off the bench for him. I think he's left-footed, but I don't know. Hunt, and it was saved by the keeper. Probably should have done a bit better there. And that was it. It does finish 3-1. In the end, a fairly comfortable victory. Um, it was, in the second half, a lot better from us. So I'm very happy with that performance. And, uh, yeah, 3-1 victory against Hoffenheim. That's very good, considering it was an away match. So I think we've just been through the international break. And we've got a game against Bayern Leverkusen at home. Um, this is when Leno will, again, as it says in the news, uh, face a visit from his old teammates. So this should be a very interesting game. I'm going to play this match. Uh, obviously because they are, they are a very big team and a tough team to play against. So I'll be back in a minute once I've decided on the team. We'll stick with the exact same formation again because it's doing us good. This is the team I'm going to go with. The attack, uh, the attacking four players stay exactly the same. I can't really fault them to be honest. De Bruyne wasn't amazing but he did his job. Uh, in midfield though in the centre of positions I've got Gully Vogie who came on and did a brilliant job and uh, Gustavo starts as well after returning from I think it was an injury. It might have been a suspension. I can't remember. Anyway, Rudy and Naldo also return at centre back so that is also my bench at the moment I think that's everyone I want in fact Cruz should really go on the bench I need to try him out I think in this game uh, if I remember and yeah I'm happy with the rest of the team let's get on with the game and see how we get on against Bayern Leverkusen let's grab ourselves an early goal please that is a bad tackle already that must be a booking surely ref inside the first few minutes of the game and it looks like Ben has surely got to get a booking a bad tackle on the Brian. What a start. They're really diving in for the challenges here. I mean, some of them are fair, but they are going in very aggressively on all the players. I wouldn't be surprised if we do get an injury here. Let's just hope it's not for one of my main players. Gustavo trying to find De Bruyne on to Backer on his left foot. Saved by the keeper. That's a very good save, actually. And I've just realised we are playing the uh, keeper that we got rid of. Obviously, he's getting Leno. Uh, Beneglio, is that how you pronounce his name? Something like that, and he has made a brilliant save there. Backer's got a chance to run at the defence, and he's got past them all. Backer's still running. Pulled back a little bit, and I couldn't get the shot away. That was a little bit frustrating. I tried to get the shot away, but the ball was just rolling away from me. Go on, Schurler. This is a brilliant chance to counter-attack. Look at the pace he has. Can he find anyone in front? He has. He's found Backer, who needs support himself now. Cuts inside. Backer's still going. Can he find De Bruyne? De Bruyne! And that's 1-0. A little bit of a scuff shot, I think. It wasn't the corner I was after it uh, to go into, but it's 1-0, 30 minutes in, and it's an alright finish in the end. Look at that. His pass goes to De Bruyne there, and he kind of scuffs it into the bottom left-hand corner. 1-0, good start to this game. Gone backer again. Desperate to chase everything down, backer. And he's still managed to hold on to the ball, looking for support, and it's Perisic on the right-hand side who helps him. Does he have a left foot or a right foot? I'm not too sure. Decent strike though with his left. And it was saved anyway by the keeper. That holding midfield partnership, I'm, I'm sure he's got to be one of the best in the world. I mean, Gulli Vogi and Gustavo are just absolutely amazing in that position. I mean, they're both flying forward at the moment, but 
Other than that, they are usually just sitting back and protecting us so well. Into Schurler. Oh, what a save. What a save that one was. That was a certain goal. That was surely. And that was a Schurler with the shot there. Gully Vogue's won it back. It's gone to De Bruyne. Into Backer now. Can he run at the defence? Come on, he's backing off here. He can't commit himself. Backer again with the fake shot and it's 2-0. It's too easy just before half time. Brilliant finish. It's another goal for Backer. Two in two games. And we are performing so well at the moment. Very good football. Cuts inside and the keeper was not saving that one on his left foot. And it's 2-0. And that is it for the first half. It is still 2-0, as you saw a moment ago. A very good performance. I mean, I can't say any more than that, really. It's probably been the best performance of the season so far. Five shots, five on target. More possession as well, which is even better. Got a couple of yellow cards, so I felt I had to match their aggression. And we have managed to do that. In terms of changes, I don't really feel like doing any. Uh, the only one I can really think of is taking Naldo off. I don't want him to get sent off. And I was very impressed with Nock in the previous game that he played he did a very good job of filling in there so I'm going to bring him on just to kind of protect Naldo a little bit I'm also tempted to bring on Elia as well um, and basically just see how he gets on instead of Schurler uh, but Schurler's uh, he contributes a lot uh, but I am going to give Elia a go I think it's fair at 2-0 up uh, really I think we are going to go and win, win this game obviously there's another 45 minutes but I'm confident that we will get the win and I'm going to bring on Cruz a little bit later if I do remember. Probably take off De Bruyne and uh, see how Cruz does in that centre attacking mid position. Go on, Elia. Well won back. Now he's on the run. He's got plenty of space to go into as well. He's going to stretch the defence here. And surely this must be a goal. Come on. On to De Bruyne. Oh my days. Get him out of the club. I can't believe he's not scored from that. It wasn't meant to go to De Bruyne. And um, yeah, you can tell he's not left footed, can't you? Gustavo, brilliant interception there. Backer again winning it. Can he go any further? Doesn't have a lot of support, but he's won it back again. Still going back is so good up front. Works really hard and should have got another goal for himself there. Brilliant stuff from him. Okay, I'm going to make a change. I'm going to take Backer off and bring on Cruz. I want to see what Cruz is like, but also I think Backer's done a lot of running in this game. He's played really well. Uh, and I think we need to make sure he doesn't get injured and has a good rest for the next game. He's going to be a vital player for us this season. Because not only does he get goals himself, he also makes them as well. So I need to get rid of him off the team for now. And uh, hopefully Cruz can do a decent thing for us as well. Uh, with kind of like 20 minutes to go basically in this game. Okay, Cruz will get 13 minutes and added on time here to perform. We'll just have to see what it's like. It's his first match, so... I'm not expecting him to go out and score a hat-trick or anything, but it would be nice to see him uh, perform well on the, uh, the with the time that he's on the pitch, basically. Uh, so if he could do that, then that would be really good, but um, we'll have to see who he gets on. Never used him before. De Bruyne trying to find Cruz, and he's got a brilliant chance to get a goal on his debut. Cruz to take a shot, and it's saved again. Probably could have done a little bit better with that. That was my fault. Didn't quite go near enough, the keeper. And again, he's got a decent opportunity. It's a penalty. The diving header fouled us somehow. Don't ask me how that one happened. And we've won ourselves a penalty there. Or should I say Cruz has won ourselves a penalty. Uh, will he take it? No, it looks like De Bruyne is the favourite to take it. Do I change to Cruz or not? I'll have a look at what his stats are like. Okay, Cruz is our best penalty taker. So, may as well take it. I don't know why I wouldn't. Uh, what's happening here? Why? Wait, what is happening? I have absolutely no idea why they've just walked in front of me. And I can't change penalty taker. This doesn't look good. It really doesn't. Why are you not letting me take it? Okay, there we go. <sighs> I don't know what happened there. No doubt it'll, it'll probably take it by itself now. I've taken that long. Not even my fault as well. Come on, change it to cruise quickly. Let me have a look at the kick takers. Oh, it's so slow. Come on. Jeez, it looks like I'm running down the clock. I just want to take it with Cruz. How long does it take? Okay, don't take it by yourself now. Cruz, finally, we've got the penalty. And we scored it about time, 3-0. Cruz on his debut. And after that little rant on how slow the penalty was, we did manage to score it anyway, luckily. 
And we've got five minutes to go. It's a decent penalty, to be fair. He sent the keeper uh, the wrong way. Brilliant stuff from Cruz. And that's his second goal for us. Uh, but I think the first goal came uh, when he played in a match that he simmed, maybe. I don't think I've played with him in-game anyway. Bayern Leverkusen with a corner in the 90th minute. Five minutes have been added on. Willie Vogue is looking a little bit tired there. And can Leno get to it? He hasn't. I think it might have been Rudiger with the header out. And Gustavo just needs to clear this one. And it's nearly found our right back Di Marcos there. Gully Vogue with a brilliant interception. And that is it. We have won the game 3-0. Another three goals. That is very, very good. Brilliant performances recently from us. And I'm really happy with that result. 3-0 against Bayern Leverkusen away. Another fantastic result for us. So, in fact, this one was at home thinking about it. But anyway, seven shots, seven on target, more possession, what more could I ask for? Uh, along with Backer getting the highest rating for us as well. Brilliant news. Let's see what game is next. It's a Europa League game. Okay, I'm probably going to sim that one. So like I said before, I am going to sim this uh, Europa League game. It's against a team I've never heard of. We're going to go with the exact same side I just fielded um, because they did well. So why not? Let's keep the team exactly the same. Hopefully we get no injuries. Let's sim the game. Hopefully we can get ourselves a win. They're playing 4-1-4-1. Hate the formation. Hopefully it benefits us more than them. We'll have to see anyway. Hope I'm just really hoping we don't get any red cards or injuries. That will be a big, big blow for us. It's still nil nil. 20 minutes in. Uh, they've got themselves a booking. I'm not going to attempt to try and pronounce that name. He's also being sent off as well. Naldo gets a goal. 34 minutes in, into the second half now, still winning 1-0, they've brought on some guy and, and taken off another guy, we've brought on Nock and taken off Ronaldo, Petrov's come on and ta they've taken off some random, uh, Cruz on, back it off, Gustavo gets booked and it finishes 1-0, what a strange game that one was. We beat a team with 10 men that I've never heard of, and we only beat them 1-0 somehow. Wolfsburg are happy with the uh, work and dedication that, I've, that they've seen bring, uh, me bring to the team, so that is good news. I've also got a game against, is it Hertha Berlin? I don't know. I think that's what they're called. I'm not really too sure. It is, I think, Hertha Berlin, or BSC, whatever that is. And again, I'm going to sim the match. And again, I'm going to field the exact same team. I may as well. This team is playing so well for me that there's no point resting any of the players because they've got full energy and they're scoring goals at the moment or scoring enough goals to win the game anyway. So, yeah, hopefully we can get ourselves a few in this game. Heiting has been booked early on. Gustavo just gets booked there in the 28th minute. Uh, approaching the second half. Now into the second half. Gustavo scored just before, though, and that is 1-0. Nock is on. Now, though, off. That tends to be what happens, actually, every single game. 15 minutes to go. We are still winning 1-0. And into the final five minutes, Gustavo gets the second yellow, gets sent off. We win the game, which is the main thing. It's a shame the goal scorer does get sent off there. Uh, that means he misses the next match against Werder Bremen. This is the final game of the episode. I'm not going to play it. It's against Werder Bremen, like I said before. Uh, but this is the team we're going to field. Uh, Knox starts the centre-back instead of Naldo. I've got guys filling in for the suspended Gustavo. And other than that, it's exactly the same team. There's no point making any other changes when players are performing. So... Let's get on with this game. It's a home match, which is one of the reasons why I'm going to sim it. Uh, we should really beat uh, Werder Bremen. Uh, I think they tend to finish really on the bottom half of the table in real life. And have probably come quite close to relegation, I think, in recent seasons. We have gone 1-0 up. Rudiger with the goal, 8 minutes in. He seems to be our centre-backs getting quite a few of the goals recently. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. De Bruyne scores, though, for us, which is good. That's 2-0. 3-0 with Schürrle's goal before half-time into the second half. Uh, Shirley gets a slight injury, 30 minutes left, still winning 3-0, De Bruyne makes it 4, this is a real thrashing against Werder Bremen, 20, uh, sorry, 10 minutes to go, and De Bruyne makes it 5, wow, he gets his 3rd off the game, his hat-trick, and we win the game 5-0, what a game, uh, that is an absolutely fantastic result against Werder Bremen, and that leaves us at the top of the league again. Player injured, oh no, Shirley's out for 2 months, that isn't good. That is not good at all. Hopefully he returns after maybe six weeks, something like that. Uh, but Elio is going to be our replacement, obviously. Suspension is over for Gustavo. Uh, but yeah, luckily I signed a replacement for him. Or you guys suggested a replacement um, to fill in. So yeah, that's not good. But at least we do have Elio, who is about as fast as uh, Schürrle is. He just doesn't quite have the quality that Schürrle has. So uh, Naldo wants to start this game coming up. And this game will be in the next episode, so that's going to be it for this one. 
thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this one, please go hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe as well. That would mean a lot if you could go do that. It is really appreciated when I see a thumbs up and things like that. Also, don't forget to share it as well if you want to let people know. I've got the Wolfsburg career mode, and that would be really appreciated to try and attract some more people over to the channel. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.